Hi everyone, welcome to another video with me, Mr. Cool. Um, today we're going to be looking at deforestation in um, Borneo in Malaysia. So I'm going to just do a quick overview really of the topic and a quick look at a classic question which might come up. Um, what you'll notice when you get your paper three um, pre-release on Monday morning is uh, it's about rainforest. So I think any kind of uh, bit of information we can give you now is is, is really really powerful um, seeing the paper free release I think a lot of us are really um, really positive about um, just how interesting it is it certainly will spark some good debate um, but let's just start off with um, deforestation let's make sure you're getting that deforestation in uh, Malaysia okay and this is like our main case study that you have in your uh, case study booklets. What I'm going to do is I'm going to really like make it nice and simple and just separate it out into our kind of two sides of the page and positive and negatives. Um, but first of all, I think it's just worth just having some bullet points just kind of pop down here. Hopefully, I get this fit in right. That ultimately, when we have a resource like um, logging uh, or like logs or or land, that kind of wood or the trees or land. There's a reason why places like Malaysia cut down a lot, large portion of their trees because there's value in it. Okay, whether that's the land for agriculture or the trees for logging. So let's just remind ourselves that the palm oil industry in Malaysia alone is worth twelve billion dollars. Okay, it's a huge, huge proportion, and we must, must remember this is one of the key reasons why it occurs, okay? Another reason is that we have tin mining in Malaysia, okay? So a really, really um, important metal for a wide range of things. And that equals about 7% of the GDP, okay? That is a huge, huge proportion of the gross domestic product of Malaysia. And finally, one of the key reasons was for creating the Bakun Dam, okay? And that has provided large parts of Malaysia with cheap, high-quality renewable energy, okay? So always be respectful of the fact that they are deforesting for economic reasons and in some respects like some key social reasons there as well and um, remember as geographers it's important to weigh up the positives and negatives and the reasons why these these things are happening okay so let's start on just the positive side of things first so i always like to just do positive like that so first of all um, industries in Malaysia that are related to deforestation, whether that's in agriculture or directly in deforestation, make up about 15% of the labour force. OK, and that's like our workforce. I'll just put brackets workforce. Now, that actually is about one in seven people. OK, that is huge, both economically and socially. Remember, social and economic starts to kind of blend together when we start looking at GCSE and A-level geography. Um, one of the big things when you start to sell all of this wood or use the land is that we get increased tax revenue. OK, and that is going directly to the government. And remember when we're starting to think like AO3, starting to think about those higher marks, I like to think of like, this means that, so that, well, what's the government gonna do, okay? So I put so that we can have investment in infrastructure, okay? And that is schools or hospitals, I'll just put down here. OK, so there's a hospitals, there's a huge range that we can invest in in Malaysia when this deforestation is occurring. OK, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of negatives. We have to be wary that there are positives as well. And then finally, the Bakun Dam, this hydroelectric dam, and I'll just put hydro um, dam, is given cheap green energy okay absolutely critical that you as geographers really realize that that's 
um, some of the positives of, of what's happened at deforestation in Malaysia. And because of that, things like the HDI Human Development Index have been improving year on year in Malaysia. It's really important. It's like when we look at Shell in Nigeria, it's important for us to show balance in the ideas that we're thinking about. However, let's have a look at some of the negative very quickly. Okay, so a classic negative that's caused by deforestation is increased water pollution. Okay, and that certainly occurred in Malaysia. And you see, as the trees are cut down, we have huge, huge amounts of runoff um, occurring. Another really important thing to realise is that um, plants become extinct and animals, but plants we're very specifically interested in. Um, because of their medicinal properties, okay? A lot of our cancer drugs are derived from um, plants that we find in the rainforest, okay? And so every time that we make a plant species exist that perhaps we don't know about, we're reducing our understanding of... Um, of plants that have medicinal benefits to us as a, as a species, okay. Next, this is absolutely critical in that um, indigenous, and let me just make sure I get this about right, indigenous people um, are forced out. Really, really important to realise that there are people still living in these rainforest environments who are not as well connected with um, the world that we live in, okay? And when we force them out, we're having big, big social implications on those people living in that environment. Finally, and this is probably the most famous one and what a lot of students focus on, which is absolutely fine. And you will remember the, uh, the little um, advert that came over uh, came out around uh, or was Iceland or Lidl I can't remember came out around Christmas looking at the impact that palm oil was having on the orangutan um, population and we've seen uh, orangutan decline by about 50% since the year 2000 okay so a huge proportion of the orangutans living in the Borneo rainforest in Malaysia um, have declined. And I, I don't know if you've ever seen an orangutan uh, in a zoo, but they are hyper, hyper intelligent animals. Um, it, you know, they, uh, from my opinion, I, I don't really believe in zoos anyway, but just seeing them in there, you start to realise just how close they are to the human species. Um, and so by impacting their habitat, it's causing this decline and it's a very, very negative thing. Um, especially since they're such um, there's there's such an important species for that rainforest as part of the um, biology uh, and ecology of the of the area. So, as geographers, we need to weigh up the positives versus the negative. And a kind of classic question is something like using Figure One, so they might show a deforested rainforest, and your own knowledge. So deforestation in Malaysia. To what extent does deforestation provide economic opportunities at the expense of um, the environment? That's a that's what came up in last year's paper, and it's something you need to think about in the paper three this year. Okay, and we can look at the positives and say, okay, we see economic and social positives caused by that. But we see some real environmental consequences. Okay, and. It's up to you as ge to geographers to decide the extent to which we think deforestation in Malaysia um, should or shouldn't take place. Um, that's ultimately your decision to make. Um, OK, I hope this has been super useful for you guys. It really links on to one of the homeworks that I've given for my year 10, but also for year 11. Extremely um, useful now as well. Uh, any questions, please come see me or Mr. Servan A1A1, A1A2 in the Geography Department. I'm more than happy to go through uh, everything with you guys as well. Have a lovely evening and best of luck in revising over the Easter period.